Hi everyone, this is my rebuttal post um, against Rafael Gonzalez. His position essentially is that the United States was correct in dropping the atomic bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I will be arguing that it was not the correct decision and that there were other logical alternatives. Um, to argue this, I want to talk a little bit briefly about Raphael's position, and his position was that the United States was correct in dropping the atomic bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, largely because there was no other choice and that this was a defensive move. I want to talk about that second part a little bit more and that this was a defensive move. I feel that this was more of an offensive move. Um, in that yes it was a response to japan's military action in pearl harbor however the use of the atomic bomb specifically i believe that it was a power play or some sort of superiority um show against smaller countries that the united states not only has the atomic bomb but if you challenge us we will use it I don't believe that it was just a defensive move of there's no other option, there's nothing else we can do. I do believe that there was an ulterior motive of asserting our dominance in a sphere of weaponry that really hadn't been explored yet. And harping on that last point there, nuclear weaponry was something that had never really been used until Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it was just being explored. It was this new form of extreme weaponry that essentially guaranteed complete destruction. And for the United States to use it, it's unfair to argue that it was just uh, this, the best solution to a problem or this was the only option because in any past warfare, this wasn't the only option. This wasn't the only form of weaponry. This is brand new. So why all of a sudden, in response to, response to Japan's attack on us, is this a necessity or is this the only logical presented option? It's simply not. And that kind of goes to the heart of my argument that saying that this was the only alternative is just incorrect. There were many other alternatives of just conventional warfare that did not necessarily guarantee the downfall of these two places in Japan or guarantee that innocent people were killed by an atomic bomb. The atomic bomb is something that was unprecedented until it was used in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So to say that there was nothing else we could do is just unfair. Um, on top of that, some people argue that the use of the atomic bomb wasn't just to say, Japan, you don't mess with us. It was in a grander scheme of things of the Cold War. Um, nuclear weaponry was the heart of the Cold War and trying to deter that kind of mass destruction was the entire heart of the conflict between Russia and the United States. And so the use of nuclear weaponry against Japan has been argued to also be a move or a deterrent um, against Russia. And that's something we also talked about in class of nuclear weaponry being used as a deterrent. I believe that was the heart of the United States' purpose of using the nuclear weaponry of saying to other countries, don't mess with us because we have this arsenal that you aren't ready to utilize because we are. Um, another solution that um, was discussed was that the nuclear weapon could have been developed but could have been used in a demonstrative sense rather than as an offensive attack in Japan that was so destructive. Um, People say that we could have used it in a deserted area to say, hey, this is what an atomic bomb can do, don't use it kind of thing as more of a warning rather than actually guaranteeing that destruction. So those are a few reasons for why I don't believe that the United States should have dropped the nuclear weapon in um, 
Hiroshima and Nagasaki and all of my reasons go to the heart of the fact that or the argument that it's the only alternative or it's the only logical option um, that's the main point that I really wanted to hone in on so I hope you enjoyed I hope you appreciate um, my argument um, thank you for your time